Welcome everybody, it's Jordan Chankis at the ARC Westchester and we're here to talk with our tech ambassadors. Uh, before I go much further, I just want to say we all have a lot to be thankful for this year and this time because boy, technology has really made a difference in so many people's lives. I was doing a presentation last night talking about my daughter's Apple IIc back in the 80s and boy have we come far or what. For anybody on the call that's new, you know, check out our technology page on the ARC Westchester site. Lots and lots of resources. On to today's topic. Siri on iPhones and iPads has some ability to do some basic reading of emails. And for some people, it's a halfway decent solution, but really not for folks that have... Uh, more needs like you and me. I get so many emails every day. It's incredible, you know, from a lot of technology sources and it's a bit overwhelming. So, you know, if we have somebody that is using an email to communicate with work or with family and they have some literacy issues, Siri's not a bad alternative. But, you know, if anybody out there has used Siri, it's not the number one as far as voice recognition, and it can get a little clunky at times. So I came across this app, and probably some of you know about this app called Speaking Email. And it's a really, really good alternative, especially if you have multiple accounts. I have several accounts, you know, for Arc Westchester my private life, some other things that I'm involved in. And speaking email is a program that allows you to say like on your commute to work, have your emails read to you in the car and you can stop the reading of the emails or take some actions like forwarding it on to some people, flagging it, all kinds of things. So Sometimes I listen to podcasts coming to work, but I just recently got speaking email and I'm going to start listening to my emails and see if I can finally get them to a manageable amount. I mean, I literally have thousands of emails that I haven't attended to and I can spot the important ones, but boy, it'd be nice if I had everything cleared out. So speaking email has a lot of advantages. Uh, there's a basic package that's free that might be just fine for somebody that is using their uh, device occasionally. There's a Google Play version and there's also a Apple version, an iOS version. Premier a, a version doesn't cost a lot of money. It's about two bucks a month. And if you sign up for a year, which I did, it's only 20 bucks. So you get a little bit of a discount. Once you get that Premier edition, you get multiple accounts, all kinds of voices to choose from, lots and lots of control over your emails. And it not only reads the emails, but if you get an email saying, see the attached Word document, it will actually read the attachments to you. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it skips over things like, especially anybody that works at a voluntary agency, and you look at the disclaimers that are at the bottom of our emails, it skips over all that stuff that's not too important. And it can also skip over promotional emails. So it has a lot of capability. And the speech dictation on this is really, really good. So you can listen to an email and do all kinds of controls on it, including dictating a reply. This is the opening screen when you start speaking email. So this is my Gmail account. Feel free to send me an email at this address. <laughs> but uh, you can have multiple accounts. I just have my Gmail account listed, but you know, I'll probably add my exchange account from the ARC Westchester, a couple of other ones that I have. And it doesn't have a feature to read every single account pulled together, but you can go through your individual accounts. And uh, lots and lots of help as far as learning the system and the preferences have lots of customization. For example, you can adjust the rate that the emails are read back to you. It has multiple language capabilities. It can play back your emails as they come in. 
gives you all kinds of sound effects and you can control what you want to see. You know, sometimes you don't want to hear all the people that are on the CC list, especially if you're getting a bulk email. The voice can be customized. That is reading it back to you. You can have U.S. voices. You can have Australian voices and uh, lots of customization. If I said to it, uh, read last email, and that last email happened to be from the National Arc, the Arc sent to me, and it's the Capital Insider newsletter that comes out of the Arc. It will start reading it, and I don't have to have the whole thing read to me. Once I get to the point where I have the general gist of it, I can say, okay, you know, that's enough for me to know. I can say done. I can throw it into the trash. I can just pass over it, ignore the sender, or I can flag it. Maybe this is something that I want to really remember as important. Or I can send an instant reply. If any of you have seen on Google Gmail, they've come up with a lot of things where you can do instant, no thanks, sure, yeah, canned replies. Or you could forward it to some of your other members of your team. You could stop the reading and go on to the next one. You don't have to hit these buttons. They're all voice commands, or you can do it digitally, but if you're driving, it's probably not a good idea. It pauses to let you decide, do you want to continue on? Yes. So say in this case, if on the Capital Insider, I would tell speaking email, play, and it would start reading the whole document. And then at the point that I want to, I can say, done. That's enough. Thank you very much. It's a great way during those commuting times, this may be a little bit difficult if you're on the subway. <laughs> I don't know if you want to be talking out loud. You probably want to go with the digital approach, but you can scan through an awful lot of emails very, very quickly. And you can swipe left and right, go to the next one quickly. It gives you a great way to make your life more manageable and back to that zero sum email position that we always want to be in. Our next Tech Ambassador webinar is going to be on December the 4th, and then we'll have one on the 11th, I believe. And then we're going to take a break for the holidays, and we'll be back in uh, January after New Year's. I wish all of you a happy, happy Thanksgiving, and let's all be grateful for the amazing world of technology that we work in every single day. Music